I'm gonna show you how to steep and make tea like the lazy way. This is my favorite way to do it. gonna look something like this and I feel very Rachel Ray-esque. All right. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I'm Damiana. I am two-time best-selling author. Like what else am I? I don't know. Mother of two, all the things, intuitive somatic healer and coach. Um, maybe you're familiar with my work. Maybe you're not, maybe you're new. Welcome, I love seeing you here. If you wanna learn more about me, you can go to kdamiana.com or you can check out my Instagram, kdamiana, just to get an idea of who I am, but that's not really important because it doesn't matter who I am. It matters that you know how to steep your tea and that's what we're here to do. I'm gonna show you how to steep and make tea like the lazy way. This is my favorite way to do it. Um, <laughs> I'm a busy mom of two, soon to be three, and I'm making prenatal like tonics and using herbs that are super nourishing for my body and for my womb space to prepare for an empowered birth um, and also for like postpartum recovery. So I am making tea and I drink tea pretty much every day. Um, one of the ways that I like to do it, it's super lazy, right? You can traditionally just boil some water on a kettle and I have an electric kettle, right? <laughs> You okay? Oh, what's happening? Okay, so way I like to do it, I have a couple different of steeping options. Like this is like a traditional. If you were to do like hot tea, you put your herbs in here and then pour the hot water over it, and you let it steep for a little bit, however time, depending on what your steeping time is. Cool, right? Traditional way. My lazy way, though, is, um, oh no. Then we also have more, like, if you don't have something fancy like that, just a nice little aluminum thing with holes in it. This guy is just so cute. It's like a little cup, Starbucks cup. I don't drink coffee, but I just thought it was cute. Put the leaves in here. Dip that into your cup. That's hot water stuff, right? Okay, so there's ways to do that. My lazy way of doing things though is with this guy right here. And you can use, they come, you can go to like Tivana, honestly, like anywhere, like a tea infuser is what it's called. Get you one of these. What you're gonna do is fill this infuser part with your herbs. And honestly, I like to make like tinctures which are more like potent, kind of longer steeped teas. But you're just, this is a tablespoon, very heaping, generous tablespoon. So that's two. Honestly, all you need is one tablespoon for, six to eight, for a cup of tea, just a tablespoon per cup, right? And so this is a few cups, so I put a few scoops in here. Super easy. Now that you have your tea in here, fill this joint up with water. Fill it up with water. That's all you gotta do. I use Kangen water. I'll move you back here. Can you see me? All right, no cameraman. Put the lid back on, right? It's gonna look kind of like that, like it's kind of steeping already. Put this joint in the fridge. Boom. Let that steep overnight, eight hours minimum, okay? And then, when you wake up, it's gonna look something like this. And I feel very Rachel Ray-esque because like I'm on a cooking show, but I had made this last night and I need to make more for tomorrow. So I got a really nice, strong infused tea. You can add something sweetener if you like. I'm not big on sweetener in my tea because I just love the earthiness of it, but that's how you can steep tea. I also use like reusable Tea bags, you can just get them on Amazon, but I'm very like eco-friendly and green. And also the tea bags, they got chemicals in them too. They do, especially those bleached white tea bags and those pre-filled tea bags. 
Chemical City. Or if you do like the plastic little triangular pyramid ones, plastic. So I try to be as green and as eco-friendly as possible. So I like my tea infuser or liking to use reusable tea bags. But either way, not you can enjoy a nice iced tea. You can even heat that up too in the morning if you'd like. You can just put that over the stove. But it's super, super, super easy. But yeah, you definitely should check out the other videos that I have around herbs, especially if you are pregnant or postpartum or just like a new mom, like within like the first year or two of life, you need to definitely check out my other video on herbs for pregnancy and postpartum. It's very, very knowledgeable. No, but that's not correct English. It's just good information to have, okay? It really is. And I strongly, strongly, strongly recommend that. All right. Love you, love you.